Well, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015.4, and this is only available in 0.3 and above versions. So if you have a previous version, you're not going to be able to see and follow along. Today I'm showing you the VR settings within Premiere Pro, and you can find them by going to the wrench on your source monitor. You'll see it under VR video, and then you'll see settings. I'm going to go to my program monitor here as well, and you can do that as well here under VR video settings. Now, what's important to understand is the settings you set up in your program monitor will be different than the settings you set up in your source monitor. What that means is that you can set up your source monitor differently for a different kind of VR device than you do the program monitor. So the settings are kept separate. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go into the wrench. And I'm going to go into VR, and then I'm going to go into the settings menu. And you can follow along that way. Now, there's a couple of things you want to look at. The frame layout, this is where you get to pick if the equirectangular image you are working with is either monoscopic or stereoscopic. And if it is stereoscopic, you have two types that you can choose from, over and under and side by side. Now, in this case, I've shot monoscopic. If you do select over and under or side by side, then you can select which eye you want to see, the left, the right, or a combination. So let's go back to monoscopic. The capture view horizontal and vertical, this is the entire view that you've captured with your camera. With most cameras, you're going to be capturing 360 degrees by 180, the full view. Some cameras you may be capturing less, so then you would adjust it here. Now the monitor view horizontal and vertical, this will simulate the actual device a viewer is using to watch your footage. So for example, if you have an Oculus Rift, it would be 90 by 60. And that'll give you a different view, a much smaller view than for example, if you wanna do YouTube, where people will be watching this on YouTube, which would be 160 by 90. So let's do that. Let's leave it at 160 by 90. I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to go back and go into VR and I'm going to enable it. As you can see, now I have the full 360 that I can move around inside and out. A couple of things. You can move the footage either in the program or source just by clicking and dragging, but you can only do this when you enable VR. If you ever want to go back to center, so for example, let's say we do this, you want to go back to what the viewer will see at the beginning, you just double click anywhere and it'll take you right to the beginning. You can also navigate by moving the dials here and over here by dragging with your mouse. So then again, we'll double click to get it centered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my VR settings and I'm going to change this to an Oculus Rift which we said was 90 by 60. And I want you to see what happens to the viewer. As you can see, it got smaller and taller because that's what people wearing an Oculus Rift would see. So this simulates the frame that a user would see in a device. We'll go ahead and go back to settings and we'll change it again to YouTube settings. So this is what a YouTube viewer would end up seeing, a much larger frame. So now if I go to the source monitor and I look at settings, you can see that the settings for the source monitor are different. You have 90 by 60, even though I have it set up here at 160 by 90. So for example, let's go ahead and do that and we'll go ahead and now enable the source. And there you go. Now I'm seeing what a YouTube viewer would see. And over here, I'm seeing what an Oculus Rift viewer would see. One final thing to make things easier, instead of having to go into the settings, VR, and enable, you can click on this plus button, which is the button editor. And then you will find over here a button for toggling the VR video display. You can go ahead and drag and drop it into the monitor, click OK. And now I can just click on that to go on and off. And of course, you can do the same thing for your source monitor which I'm doing there, click OK. And now I can enable and disable constantly. Well, that's it. I hope this tutorial gave you a good overview of how to use the 360 degree viewer in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015.3 and later versions. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Also remember to check out studio360vr.com for more free tutorials, premium courses, live webinars, articles, podcasts, and more. So until the next tutorial, I'm your host, Marcelo Lewin. Cheers, everyone. Yeah.